Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming. So, Australia. Surprisingly, not a lot of games are set in Australia. There are games made in Australia. A lot of big games have people from Australia working on them. They're developed by studios in Australia. But we don't see too many games set within Australia. So I thought I'll make a quick list. I searched around and I found some decent games that are set in Australia. So. Of course, we start off first with Mad Max. This is obviously the most familiar one to most of us, whether it's from the movies or the game itself. I'm a huge fan of this game, as you may know. Uh, I've mentioned this game many times. I like the simplicity. I like the open world here, the setting, the Mad Max universe. It's all done very well. And the whole wasteland scenario, there is just a serene feel to it, despite all the carnage. And the game itself, has a big open world, it has good hand-to-hand -hand combat, there's a lot of car customization, excellent car combat as well. The story is also quite brutal, it's not your happy ending type of story. Uh, it's a bit vague, let's put it that way. So basically, in this one, Max is just trying to find the planes of silence. He runs into, uh, what's his name, Scrotum something, and his war boys, you know, beat him up, take his car. So he gets up, he wants his car back. He finds this religious mechanic and they go about building a new car. So most of your gameplay is around taking out this warlord and his minions, his outposts and stuff like that. And upgrading your car. So you have to go around to various places, find parts for it, better engines and stuff like that. And then build this car to take on this warlord. So overall, I've played this game about three times. I really like this game. I like the Car, car, you know, car driving, car combat. Um, all these things are very impressive, very well done. And somehow it went under the radar in my opinion. I think this is one of the most underrated games of the last 5-10 years or so. So if you still haven't played this, definitely give this a try. It goes to about 80% off, 75% off during Steam sales. So it's not an expensive game at this point. And it will run well as well. You can probably play it in 4K with newer GPUs. So yeah, first pick and obvious pick is Mad Max. Now the second game is a small indie farming sim, uh, life sim style of game called Dinkum. So Dinkum is set in a Australian inspired outback basically. And yeah, it's a usual uh, farming sim, life sim style game. So you have to set up your home, do your farming, go hunting, of course, with it being an Australian setting, you are like hunting crocodiles and stuff like that. It's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, so people like it. It's still an early access, so uh, not finished by any means, but it looks very nice. It's got its own unique art style, and it uh, comes out, I think, I don't know when it comes out, but it is available right now, and it goes on sale at a small discount, 20%, but it's not an expensive game to begin with. It's a $20 game. And so even a small discount should be enough. And yeah, with the reviews being very positive, it's not a bad one. I'm looking forward to picking this up as well at some point. Now, the third game on our list is also a big game, probably the biggest AAA game here. Unfortunately, it's not a new game and it's no longer you know available to buy. You could still find like secondhand copies and stuff. And I'm talking about Forza Horizon 3. Now I have this game because I did buy it when it came out and the setting is of course Australia. So you are in Australia, usual Forza stuff, lots of racing, lots of you know events here, lots of cars and overall I've played a little bit of it and it's good but on the PC it's just not that well optimized. They never released it on Steam so you have to go through the Windows Store and I found Forza Horizon 4 and 5 to be much better optimized than 3. It is playable and it's not that bad, but you can feel the difference in terms of performance. So if you have the console and you can find a second-hand copy, this might be the way to go with this one. Play it on console, you like it, the game is good. Uh, if you've played the Forza games, you know what to expect, Forza Horizon games, I mean. And yeah, it's a great game. I have like uh, played this again recently and I still like it, it's good. I like car racing games, arcade ones especially. So this is just my kind of thing and it looks beautiful. The graphics and the open world is definitely beautiful and of course you have lots of cars so that helps as well. 
So yeah, unfortunately, it is no longer listed for sale digitally because with car games, uh, the license is expired in a few years, so they can't unfortunately sell it sell it uh, for a long time. Which is a shame because the game is not that old. I think it came out in 2016, I'm guessing, something like that, 2014. So not that old a game. Uh, hang, hang on, 2012 was Forza Horizon 1, 2014, 2016, yes, yeah, so it's a fairly new game, it's like 7 years old and it's already no longer available on sale, which is a shame. Now the next game on our list is a small, another car based game basically, this is called Revhead. So this is a build your own race car sim, automobile sim type of game and basically you are in a small village in Australia, you are starting from scratch. You buy small parts, upgrade your car, and eventually turn it into a racing car. I had not heard of this game before I started looking for games for this video. And this game came out in 2017, and it's getting updates. It is published by Playway. Playway makes all these car mechanic games, so it is in a similar theme. But there is a bit of driving around in this one. With those games, it's mostly repairing the car. Here, you actually do drive a little bit, and you see the... Um, a harsh Australian outback setting where you drive. Graphics are not the latest. It's a game from 2017, obviously, so six or seven years old. So things have changed, but it's still pretty decent. And yeah, I'll put this on my wish list and perhaps pick it up because I've played some of the other uh, car mechanic sim style games and they're not too bad. So this is uh, on sale for $20 and we have seen an 80% sale nothing recently I believe. The price may have gone up due to the um, recent changes on Steam. There are a couple of uh, bundles here, three in fact. So we have a turbo pack, we have a convertible pack and a night vision pack. So those are extra things you could add to improve the game. But I'm curious, I'll be checking this one out when I see a big sale on this. Uh, there are a few interesting driving scenarios here, race tracks and just outside. So it might not be a bad game. It's got positive reviews so surely worth a try and then my final pick is something I'm really looking forward to and I'm a bit excited as well about this this is called Broken Road so Broken Roads is an upcoming game they have released a demo on Steam right now so you could try it out and see if you like it so this is a post apocalyptic setting an RPG isometric style um, turn based combat as well and it reminds me a lot of classic Fallout games, perhaps a bit of Disco Elysium in the art style, and it looks very, very good here. So it is available right now. There will be a Steam Next Fest as well, so we might hear more about it. But the demo is available right now, so you don't have to wait for the Next Fest and try it out. The game, I believe, is expected later this year. Don't have too much information because, again, this is something I came across very recently. I'll just read a little bit of it here so you get an idea. Immerse yourself in a game world set in post-apocalyptic Australia, Western Australia, filled with intricate lore, deep history, and compelling characters. As you embark on your epic journey, complex storylines, branching quests, and memorable encounters of it. Uncover hidden secrets, unravel political intrigues, and confront moral dilemmas that challenge your assumptions about right and wrong. Every decision you make shapes the rich narrative, leading to multiple outcomes and ensuring a truly personalized gameplay experience. From the grand overarching plot to the smallest details, the world is brought to life with atmospheric descriptions and vivid dialogues, delivering on immersive and unforgettable adventure. So yeah, very promising looking game here. This could end up being the best games. I see kangaroos and emus running around in the gameplay trailer. So yeah, definitely have a look at this. I'll put the links below to all the games, the ones that are available. So these are my top five picks for games set in Australia. But anyway, let me know what you think of this style of video. I want to try more styles and enjoy making videos again. I have a few other ideas. And also, if you want to see other countries, let me know. I'll try and explore some of the more popular ones and see what we find. 